we are doing something very special today. I am bringing in something extremely fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> this crazy thing I'm about to take apart because these are power toms and power toms are about late 80s and early 90s and they just don't really fit it with music right now. So these drums wouldn't get played. So I'm gonna modernize them a little bit. Kind of like what I do with everything else that I've done with something. Everything's player grade. So we're gonna try this and see how this uh, will work. I think this will be okay. These are really unique drums and I'll try to find out as much as I can about these things and see if I can come up with some sort of knowledge about it. I've played them today on two songs that I'm gonna put out. This is the original color, they're gonna change. I don't wanna tell what the color is, but it's, it'll be fun. These are, I believe these are the early 90s remotes. The guy that I bought these from, he got them from the original owner. Oh, every once in a while you go on road trips and you get crazy stories. Well, this crazy story ends up, the guy that bought these from Atlanta, I believe it was Rhythm City or maybe Atlanta Pro Percussion, they were $3,800 for these things. And I'll try to throw a picture up and make sure what they look like because I got a six piece kit out of it. So kick, snare, tom, 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 tom. Everything's uh, suspended, I'll explain all that later, but today we are taking this drum apart, seeing exactly how it's made, because it seems to be a little different than my original version of these shells that I have on my piccolo. These have a different bearing edge that almost looks plastic. We're about to find out. Hey, it's Master Touch Remo Day, yeah! Wow. That just came off with dental floss, so that was super easy. That stuff just absolutely just kind of gave way. The lugs are actually, the lugs are really just a really short, short lug, but they have this extra spacer and they're kind of lightweight. It kind of, it doesn't feel super heavy. It doesn't feel like the super cheap stuff, but it's just kind of mid-grade stuff is what it feels like weight-wise as far as this goes compared to like DW and Pearl and stuff. But that's that and just super thin hard rubber washer. That's okay. And two simple screws. That's all the lugs really is. So it's that style. This drum shell is a very different story. This is really unique. I don't actually know what this is. It almost feels like plastic. I, I really don't know what that actually is for the bearing edge. It's rolled over on the back side and it's, it just cuts down at an angle on the other. There's more of the uh, hole in what this, oh, that's a much better way to see that. As I'm taking these off, the steering room has nylon washers on it. The other part of the kit does not. This is gonna need some love. This one hasn't seen a lot of love in a while. Mm, crusty. <laughs> Woo! Oh, crusty. God, this needs a lot of love. The drum kit was not in this, this rough of shape. Mm. Double crusty. <laughs> Y'all, replace your bottom heads. Don't be afraid to go out and buy bottom heads just because you don't hit them. They don't need to be replaced. They do. Okay, before this goes off to the shop, we have to kind of see what I did. I got eight inches down from this. Eight inches down from the batter is going to get me right to that edge. Cut here is what I'm going to have. And then I'll put an edge on that. Hopefully, and then I'll try to wax that edge and seal that so it's completely solid and then I'll put the lugs back up and I'm gonna only have to cut one hole it looks like and make these exactly fit together. So that should work kinda of good. So, off to Drum Supply House. Hello there, I'm Tommy Thomason. Yesterday I was with Pete. I went to Drum Supply House in Nashville and then guess what? Now I can speak. Ah! Yeah! Ah! 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 This material is really fascinating. It kind of looks like a ply, but it's spun. They can make this material shapes. Hence why the djembe's work so well. I've got a, they're really flat. They put them on the sander and made them nice and flat for me. So once I put the round over bit, that should take care of the outside edge. 
so neat. This is the inside. It's that weird fuzz I was telling. It's kind of a, uh, it's like a, it feels kind of like a weird version of a truck bed. It's a little soft, but waterproof. Uh, I don't know, it makes the sound nice and oh, mellow. It sounds so good on the recording. Yeah.